Hi guys, so today I would like to show you my progress with uh, this little spell here, Lightning Tendrils, which just came out uh, like six hours ago, maybe a bit more. Uh, anyway, so it just came out today and, uh, well, enough time for me to level it to 16 and uh, anyway, I've been using it uh, in maps since it was level 1 because I got this um, nice little thing here, of course, it's uh, six link pledge of hands, which is something pretty expensive, and that we will make uh, pretty much anything work relatively well as long as it's a spell. But in this case, I think it really works uh, quite well, uh, and it's really interesting. So I wanted to show you what it looks like, uh, knowing that, of course, this is a build that I had before and just repurposed uh, to test this. This was actually a glacial cascade build, but uh, the tree is kind of. Uh, uh, I'm also working for this. Anyway, so um, here lightning tendrils, faster casting, uh, of course uh, with spell echo from the staff, uh, added chaos damage, which is possibly uh, the thing that will go away soon, and concentrated effects and increased area of effects, and the last one is increased critical damage because I'm specced for crit. Um, so um, no uh, lightning penetration in here, uh, which is probably not a very good idea. Um, uh, I've been using edit chaos damage because at lower uh, gem levels it makes more sense, but uh, soon enough uh, it will look like this rather. Uh, anyway, um, just uh, keeping it with the edit chaos here, uh, you will see a tooltip of 38, which is pretty damn good for a spell if you ask me, especially a lightning one, which does shock and it really shocks a lot. Um, the other nice thing that came out this patch is um, this one, Herald of Thunder, uh, which is really, really neat. Uh, first, it, it adds uh, damage, just like uh, Herald of Ice does, but most, most importantly, it uh, hits pretty much everything around you uh, with lightning, as long as you have been killing something that was shocked recently, uh, which is pretty much all the time with this build and I'm sure a lot of others. And the very neat thing with it is that you can link it with Curse on Hit. It doesn't even uh, up the mana reservation, but what it does is uh, curse with uh, Warlord's Mark, uh, Assassin's Mark, and uh, actually uh, unleveled uh, Elemental Weakness, uh, which should be uh, 2020, of course, for best results. But anyway, it's uh, triple curses uh, enemies automatically around me without having to do anything, and it's fucking fantastic. If you pardon the language. Uh, I'm French, uh, yeah, it kind of comes with the territory. Anyway, uh, so uh, I need the wind screams uh, to use the free curses, and I have the triple, uh, the second cursing from Whisper of Doom here. So this is uh, my tree. It's relatively simple, um, <coughs> critical spell build uh, from the witch. Um, it doesn't have any uh, element specific uh, nodes. Uh, since it was for uh, a mixed damage uh, glacial casket build which used a lot of, a lot of um, uh, chaos damage it's actually a, a dual uh, epips rage build anyway so this works um, because we've got a lot of spell crit here uh, spell damage which should probably be a cast speed now that we are using a pledge of hands um, eldritch battery for a lot of mana um, some gas speed, not so much. Uh, power charges, uh, serpent stance because we are using a staff and it's a lot of crit too. A lot of mana regen wherever we can get it, and some life, not so much. I'm, I'm three seven and now, which is not so good. But I do have, uh, as you can imagine, a cloak of defiance with a lot of mana. Uh, most of it I'm reserved, so uh, that's uh, an effective. Uh, life pool that is quite a lot higher than this. Anyway, um, going back to damage, uh, we are at 38 uh, without anything, and now I'm gonna put on Herald of Ice, which puts me to 42, and Herald of Lightning, which is only uh, level 16 right now, it puts me at 46, and that's before power charges, so um, that's pretty neat, I think. Um, what else do I have in this build? Well, uh, Clarity, I kind of need that uh, to support uh, Mind of a Matter, and puts me at uh, 1.5k unreserved mana, which is 
pretty good uh, enough uh, for most purposes and uh, does provide a, a relatively deep pool to take in and uh, avoid uh, one shots which is the big problem of course um so let's see what it looks like with mapping i've been doing quite a lot of uh, 73s to 76 to um, level my gems and uh, now I'm gonna do my first 77 with the build. It's a shrine with the pack size, rare monsters, fleets and 100% uh, damage as lightning which is extremely dangerous but eh, whatever. Let's go. Of course I'm, yeah, I'm using arctic armor that sounds like a given. Uh, so that's pretty much my only defense with the mind of a matter. And yeah, lightning warp, and of course, also um, not not of course, but gas when damage taken, uh, immortal coal, which is very handy. So let's lo see what it looks like. What it looks like. Okay, starting to have problems talking. So look, first uh, you will need to get a crit so you can um, shock something and then you will have like you see here, kind of thunder, then automatically triple cursing everything, which very significantly boosts our damage, give us uh, power charges, also endurance charges, some kills. And Life also is fleeting. quite a bit of damage. I'm at 67. Okay, uh, tooltip, which is yeah enough, let's say. And I, I'm I'm gonna repeat that. This is with the level 16 no quality uh, lightning tendrils. The um, damage at, at level 20 is something I, I'm not sure. Probably. 50% more damage at, at the very least. Uh, I think it's more. Um, so that should be interesting when we get there. So one, one of the major problems of, of the build is when you get uh, uh, spend too long without uh, killing anything, uh, how the thunder turns itself off and uh, then you create a lot less and you, you do a lot less damage. And it's a little bit mm, well, unwieldy to get the engine started again, which is why I, I've been using um, our tiny little uh, vital light wall bow lightning warp. Well, no, not lightning warp. And uh, that thing, please don't use it. It's just that it, no bow uh, lightning trap. We get into it now. Um, it is this neat little thing, which when you actually put it under a monster and not in the middle of nowhere, yeah, you get um, shocking ground. So you are pretty much guaranteed to kill something that is shocked, and so you will uh, start the hell held of thunder again. And so you get your automatic cursing, and everyone's happy because you, then you have your power charges, and your GG damage, and yeah. But as you can see, when the ball is rolling, uh, it, it's pretty good clear speed. Um, as most um, critical spell builds, Especially ones that use um, pledge of hands or other uh, weapons with no crit on them. The crit chance is really not stellar at all. So you um, yeah, I turn off Arctic Armor instead of throwing a trap, that's a good way to die. Anyway, so yeah, um, let me get my power charges back up and I will look at my critical chance. And you can feel that with the power charges is really not very high, and with them it's uh, barely at 50%. And um, the, the damage feels pretty bad when it doesn't hit, but what it does, everything dies pretty much instantly. I mean, including uh, rares and uh, um, exiles. Well, in maps under 77, because they do with this, but 
Yeah, f stuff dies. Really, really well. So you, you feel like you are doing mad damage, and then the, the next second, everything disappears. It's something I, I cannot dislike about uh, its spell builds. But this one I, I cannot like. Uh, the I think by now you have seen the um, area effect of the spell, which is very decent. Oh, I see no Maya. Um, effects are going all shitty. Probably memory problems, huh? Mm. The game does that uh, when... I don't even know when, but uh, it's really the same with the, the effect on the arc also. And it starts looking shitty for a while. Which is a shame because I, I really like the, the, the effect on this one. But uh, still, well, you can see the, the AoE on this one, which is very decent with the increased AoE on top of uh, the concentrated effect. I actually have uh, both AoE clusters from um, the um, Witch and the Templar side of the tree. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, this is honestly um, enough for general mapping. I mean, if you want more, it would certainly help a bit with the, the clear speed. But it's good enough me anyway. I mean it's, it has a very large arc so it makes it a lot more enjoyable to use them things like uh, Flame Surge which does also awesome damage but uh, is absolutely uh, hell to use in, in actual mapping situations uh, because it's so uh, yeah, thin I guess is the word. One of the best one I find anyway. Um, not wide enough to, to, to be really used uh, well. Even the Glacial Cascade, I think, is uh, more enjoyable to use uh, than that one. And this one, uh, compared to Glacial Cascade, will be um, shorter. You, you, you don't reach that far. But on the other hand, you, you have pretty much an, a 180 uh, degree arc in front of you. So. You can just uh, kick a box and uh, and keep the, your right click down, and you will kill most everything coming out of the box. So that that's an uh, handy. Um, you might need to to uh, take uh, one or two steps back for uh, to get the best best results when opening strong boxes. But mostly, uh, yeah, the the arc is really not a problem. I feel or. Um, Okay. And this is a problem. Okay, I, I haven't actually come uh, to the point where I, I get a solution to this, uh, except uh, uh, popping a top as um, elemental reflect. When you have uh, uh, 60k uh, a uh, almost pure lightning damage, uh, uh, I don't have pure of lightning. I don't have move bags. Uh, I do have uh, a leech. From uh, Warlord's Mark, but uh, well, doesn't help if you don't shut yourself, of course. So that's something that that will need to uh, be worked on in the future. But for now, uh, I'm being careful and uh, not just uh, shooting uh, blindly in the middle of it is enough to, to keep you alive most of the time, at least. And that, that's good enough for me, uh, for the moment. Too much clutter. Okay, so now we are starting to get to the interesting bit. Let's we'll see who has the best lightning. Maybe I can. Thunderstorm her to death. That would be a nice revenge. Yeah, here I don't crit. Enough of this. Let's see it coming. And here I crit. Yeah, you, you can kind of see the difference. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the, the, that's really night and day. You get a crit, you you take half the, the the life of the boss, and you don't. You, 
to be expected. I, I was playing pretty badly here. Uh, no planning. I, I'm fine with this. Shit happens when you don't actually plan your fight with stuff like 100% uh, added damage. Try and buy it. But yeah, I mean, once I get to put a crit on her, you see, she kind of melts. So that's neat. Too I like much that. clutter. So yeah. This is oh, still got work to do on this map. Anyway, um this is Lightning Tendrils level 16. Um doing a little bit of a shrine. And uh, with, of course, as I said, I, I'm going to say this again, an unoptimized tree. But it's looking really good and I'm looking forward to making this build uh, more optimized and uh, probably more stable, more safe. And just getting a few more levels to get more, uh, even more ridiculous amounts of damage. And I think it, it's really interesting. It shows a lot of promise. The, the Honestly, um, Lightning Tender is really cool, but Herald of Thunder takes the cake. I mean, the, just the fact that this thing will automatically break the pots and uh, and and the barrels and anything for you—it's best thing ever. I love it. I'm I'm not ever gonna be able to do another build that does not work with Herald of Thunder because it's just too. Cool. And the automatic uh, cursing on hit is absolutely fantastic. Um, I've been. Um, for example, with my uh, Glacial Cascade build, using a, a, a ball lightning with the curse on hit and, and double curses, which is neat enough. I mean, you, you cast it once and then you, you actually use your main skill. But each time you get into a pack, you need to uh, click this button and then start attacking. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of uh, time when you add it up. And with this, it's zero. I mean, everything is uh, cursed around you pretty much uh, immediately. Uh, it's yeah, it's almost too good. But um, I, as far as I understand, it's it's intended like this. Um, it's not going away, as far as I know. So um, yeah, I, I'm I'm enjoying it, and I hope I will be able to continue to because it's I'm not sure it's completely game breaking either. It's just really uh, nice for quality of life. So yeah, um, stay tuned, I will probably uh, post a guide for this uh, if it turns out as well as I think it will. Um, feel free to ask any question, have a request, anything, let me know. Thank you for watching, bye bye.